Greetings all, the Devious Monkey here. As you can see, I have changed yet again. Funny thing is, I was only chastised for taking off too much facial hair. My wife does not like me without facial hair and apparently I took too much off. The problem with my face, my melon in general, is it's lopsided. Shit just grows wherever it wants to, in whichever direction it wants to, and it makes it very difficult for me to cultivate a, a nice, manly beard. Can't have it. That's why I gotta have the chin strap, and even that grows patchy and all messed up and shit. And once it gets too long, it starts to go out in will of its own, especially all these damn grays. Today's experiment, and I've been sort of playing around with this a little bit, you know, I'm constantly changing how I shoot is so much as the settings. And while I'm gonna stick with the fake s tone, the 1080p, 24 frames a second, Today, instead of shooting in shutter priority so that I can keep it at 1 50th, I have decided that today I'm gonna shoot in program auto. It's already making me itchy because it's been going at 1 60th and I've been jumping around f-stops. Right now it's at f6.3 and ISO 200, which I also put the ISO at like the automatic setting. The one thing that I had done is I've set the white balance Again, not with a custom white balance because everything's gonna change wherever I go. So I just put it to sun because it's a sunny day. And I'm just gonna let the camera do what it wants to do and see what, what I come up with. I don't know. I'm just gonna sort of go around and, and see what the camera comes up with. This week, I have a lot of meetings and I actually probably am gonna have to go on a dealer visit like in person. So we're gonna see how that works out. So I got a lot of day job stuff to do this week, which kind of sucks. However, comma, and the reason why I went ahead and shaved my head, you know, somebody asked me why I cut my hair. It's just, I just do that once in a while. It, it starts to drive me crazy at various lengths or whatever, or I just get, you know, like I said, a wild hair up my butt and I just decide to cut it. And I would have taken it down to this is because usually what I do is I call it a reset. I get rid of all my hair, take it down, shave it until I get sick of shaving it, and then I start to let it grow out. I usually do it bass backwards and I shave it in the winter months so that I'm freezing my, my melon off and I start to grow it out for the summer months, but not this year. This year I did shave it now, and that's because this next week the forecast shows in the 60s and sunny every day. So that means that I can get some sun on my melon and not have it look like a fish belly, you know, if I did it in the middle of summertime, like I usually do, because then my face is all tan and shit, then I got, I got all the lines from my hair, and, you know, it, it almost never catches up, or, or I should say, and or, I get horribly sunburned, because when you're, you know, even the smallest layer of hair, you don't realize, makes a big difference in your sun exposure, and your body temperature. I figured why not, it's gonna be going up into the 60s, which after being in the 20s and 30s lately, is gonna be pretty awesome and it's gonna feel like summertime. So that's that's why I went ahead and shaved my head today. I don't even think my wife noticed when I walked out, but when she came home yesterday from work, I had already trimmed all this shit off. And the first thing she did was, you know, she's like, too much, you took too much off. Like I said, she doesn't like it when I don't have facial hair. I look creepy, all right. I only get 30 minutes here. Let's go for a walk. Okay, I realized that I'm kind of blown out behind me and I'm in silhouette-ish, but I wanted to see, again, how the camera handles the fact that I'm in the direct sunlight. The sun is just slightly back over me, over there, but I've got the colored stage background behind me and a black and white stage. So, I mean, there's a lot going on here. And I, oh, let's see, it's at F11, ISO 200, which it seems to be staying at, and it's at 1 160th, F11. So, you know, it's all over the place. And I don't think that it looks particularly good. Wow, my melon really is uh, going off into the sunset there. Okay, so that's that. Now, let's see what happens when I turn. There, now I am directly facing the sun. 
and I'm kind of blinded, so I can't really see what's going on. It looks like it might be okay, but who knows? Sony brains, let's see what they do. Okay, moving on. All right, kids, we're back in the studio now. Sort of been out and about, just simple little tests, just to see what this thing does when it's on full auto. Right now, in the studio, I have all the lights on. I have, however, changed top of the world to the sort of like dark orange, and Ron has gone to a teal, almost blue. You know, the whole orange and teal thing. Can't really see much though, because I kept the window open. You know, this is just a quick test, just to see how it handles all the different light and all that. So right now I'm at 150th F4 and the ISO's jumping from 1000 to 1250. So looking at myself on the screen of the run and gun A6600, it looks like, I mean, it's doing all the colors the way it should be. I mean, everything looks true to my eye with the green and purple strap and the little sweet tart bracelet. The one that the monks gave me down at that one they gave me, they sold me. And everything on the shelves and everything looks true to color, so yay. All right, just a quick simple test. I just wanted to see what this thing does in full auto, in program mode, which is basically full auto. And definitely the camera takes over and does some wacky shit, especially when it comes to the shutter speed going from in office at 150th to what did I say it was outside? One 160th. So definitely not getting any uh, 180 degree rule there, but what are you gonna do? Okay, so that's it. Simple test today. I will likely turn everything back to either shutter priority or manual, depending on what I'm doing, and set everything the way that I think that it should be. I have definitely slacked on the auto white balance, doing a custom white balance, because I don't feel like carrying that damn thing around with me all the time. That's just lazy. I'm gonna use the camera for that, because I think it's been pretty decent as far as auto white balance or sun or shade or stuff like that, so there you go. All right, that's it. That's all I got for you today. As always, thanks for joining me like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.